Good morning. Ooh, let me get this capsule re just on the right side. So Corinna is drawing some cash. We are hitting the road, heading to Vermont. I am so stoked to think that I am going to be meeting the people that inspired me and motivated me and um, we shall learn so much from um, the nomadic movement um, opening their roastery their coffee is called the morning movement both channels are on YouTube so we are stoked to go um, yeah we'll keep you guys informed along the way cheers Moeni my name is Karenna this is Shanae and we are building strength by moving off-grid. Each week we will share our progress as we begin to bring this off-grid vision to life. For our Patreons, we will begin an additional private blog that shares more details and answers your personal questions. It's a rainy drive. It's a rainy drive, but it, I just think it also kind of should probably be done. We're busy listening to audiobooks now. Um, audiobooks in the rain. Yeah. And the sound of the car with a hole in the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> we have about we have eight hours to go. Seven hours and fifty seven. Um if we don't stop it shows that we should be in Vermont by six o'clock, so let's go for seven thirty probably. We're gonna stop in between. Um we're gonna slow down. Even if we get there eight o'clock is fine. We need to stop somewhere. I am very determined at making a nomadic movement coffee in the back of this van on my gas stove wagon. wagon. I'm in. In the kitchen. The kitchen. I have this box here so I can put the cutting board on here and cut if I want to. This is our um, Messenferke borde kopjes. Messenfork table and fork and Forks, cups. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. What do you call that? That's this is my closet there. This is our refrigerator. <laughs> all of our fresh goodies and stuff. Bulk, honey, veggies and stuff. Coffee making. Our fire store oven thing. Then I have a very nice floating, um, floating, what's that top thingy that you want in the house one day? An island. This is an island, here's my island. Um, and we're going to be making some eggs. Just gonna add this with maybe some greens there. And I'll make you some, some of these. Mm. Um, so you can eat it easy when you drive. Yeah. Some potato. Use all our pots and pans and everything. And we even have a nappy back here. Mm. Nice. Okay. Sounds Feels good. Feels like I'm camping out and. <laughs> and yeah. So, gonna get on the road. Gonna drive carefully. And like he's gonna make us a little snack. Kitchen. Wow. 
Nice. Nut mix, spinach, broccoli, the potato, herbs, butters. Okay. And then we're gonna make an egg, and then you put that in the egg with some avo in the tortilla. Yeah. Lacquer. your bum there softly I'm just gonna go back up to the front what am I doing here <laughs> can you stretch that far there you go all right so that was pointless can you just start cooking? <laughs> okay. I want you. Okay. The start cooking, woman. Getting <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so you want coffee first? Possibly, yeah. Put the windows down because it was stinking. Now it's just loud. I think maybe <laughs> Well, we didn't expect it to be raining. <laughs> we thought we'd be cooking outside. Ooh, Next up, <laughs> Levi's cooking the vegetables. Chilling it out. This is not as fun as we expected it to be. <laughs> not as uh, fabulous, I guess. It's still fun though. Lekka. I'm camping out closer. Can't really close the windows because it smells. It's making me. Oh, yeah, I hear that sizzle and the roar of traffic. Leafy's really cooking up a storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so I had quick coffee him off. She was fired shots. I can buy it up her phone down to eat. Bye, Fee. Bye, Donkey. How beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful. You made that in a car. Now that was a good meal. That was really good. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. 
off-grid mobility training. <laughs> Back on the road again. You ready? Go. Where are we now, more or less, Luffy? We're at New York. Take it a lot longer to get to this point than we Each expected. Other. Yeah. <laughs> We're in New York. We're over halfway. Wait. I want like a heart inside of us. Yep. You got it. Four more hours. It's fine. Guys, to just show you guys, just went out. <laughs> I thought I was just seeing things, and then I actually looked. It's snowing. You can't really see it that well. Come and see it here. Man, you can't see it. Damn. But it's snowing. You want to see the degassing process. No. Uh, that means it's freshly roasted, that means there's still CO2 in there, it's not old, it's not going to be stale. We tried making this coffee on the way here, but it's not as fancy. Yeah. yeah, but it was in the back of our van on a gas load. You guys are in a van? In a wagon. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry, to me that was a van. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, it was fun. We bought a bunch of coffee to take back. That was good coffee. Mm. Did you see how I drank that coffee? And like, I'm not a person that drinks coffee like that. It's definitely the way they make it. Mm. We need to make it proper. Yeah. Well, we've got that thing. But now I know Jordan showed me the clicks. Number 19. No, 1922. Mm. Yeah. Can we switch this car? I know he's. Stay in love. Stay in love. Stay in love. How cool. It was like we were like chatting with him. Like we were old friends. What nice people they are, down to earth, just chat. But you can feel their passion when they speak about the coffee and stuff. Yeah, but that passion is contagious. It was nice to say thank you to them too. I think a lot of people do things to inspire people and like never get a thank you. Not because you're doing it because you want to thank you, but, but still, it's nice to appreciate the people that motivate us. If they didn't know they inspired people, they do now. <laughs> yeah, we made it here. Oh, it was fun. Worth the drive. Coffees. <laughs> More coffee. <laughs> Just saying, we are the only South Africans that's going to be in South Africa with this coffee. Because you have to buy it here in the US, personally. Put it in your bag and then go. So, we are one of a kind. 
This is how we plan to start the day, most days. Oh. We're back on the land. Yes. Cup of Joe, cup of motivation. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Start the day off right and bold. <laughs> so we just passed the farmer's market, which we, uh, we turned around. Karina pulled off and I tell her, careful so you don't get stuck, and because she drove into the the grass, muddy area. And she turns around on it, turns the tires, and I, I can feel the tires spinning. <laughs> but she, and she's like, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Check you Look at the car. But lucky for you, I'm a crafty driver. I think most people would have gotten stuck. <laughs> at least we're not stuck. Yeah. Got home to our little housey. With our cute little view. And a little small kitchen. Yeah. So we can cook. So I'm gonna make Winky some breakfast. And we're gonna talk about how cool that was. And tomorrow <laughs> we might go back. Yeah. Got a long drive. Gotta get some coffee for the road. Yeah, it's gonna be a long drive, but it's gonna be worth it. Mm. We'll spend some more time there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, and that coffee was good. I don't drink black coffee, but that black coffee. And Jordan, yeah. Jordan personally made it for us the right way. And mm. Yeah, that was an experience. If you want to learn how to do it or yeah, something. Yeah, now so. I want to I wanna know. So then when we're back on the farm, we can do it right. Because I want to day. taste it like that one tasted. You'll, I'll show you what the grind size looks like and then you can try and, and match that. So I'm gonna measure up 20 grams of coffee. There. And then work your way to the Ready? Um, 20, 30. All right, and stop. Yeah, that's called a pre-infusion of the blend. So you okay. wanna just get it wet like that. This recipe 40 grams. So when that hits 30 seconds, you're gonna pour another 80 for a total of 120. So you're gonna pour until okay. that hits 120. Wait until that hits the 30 seconds. All right. Why is it what? Because it's like really fresh for us, which is a good thing. It's like that, that's all the CO2. So keep going, you're at 110, 10 more grams, and stop. This is the future site of the Enough Garden, which aims to ensure that more people have enough to eat and know that they are enough. This garden will form the foundation of our sport and community development programs as we rebuild off-grid. Email offgridstrength at gmail.com to donate a square in your name or the name of a loved one. You will receive a personal certificate and a monthly update on your square. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There it is, the rest of you, the, the ready movement.